In order to get gameplays like this, it's vital that you have a good connection to your game server with a smooth, low ping connection. The GeoFilter is going to help you achieve that by giving you control over what servers you play on so that you can stop laggy connections before they even happen. Today's video is going to be all about getting the GeoFilter set up from someone that's new to the GeoFilter, so the fastest, most basic setup so that you can get back to your gaming as quickly as possible, to some more advanced tips and tricks, maybe for more experienced users. And then we're also gonna go through some of the more commonly asked questions that we get from our customers on a daily basis. So there's something for everybody in this video. We split it into chapters. If you wanna skip ahead to one of the sections that's you know more beneficial to you, feel free to do so. The links are in the description if you wanna skip ahead. But yeah, let's jump into it. So the basic setup, what we're going to be doing here, and I recommend you do this and follow along with us too if it's your first time setting up the GeoFilter, we're going to be going through the GeoFilter feature tour. That was a mouthful to say. It's basically a walkthrough, a setup guide. All of the features in Duma OS have these, but what we're going to do is click on the question mark at the top here on the GeoFilter section, hit start feature tour, and that's going to guide us through. And these prompts are going to come up and we can just follow through easy as you like. First step, as you can see, add our device. So. I've already connected my, you can see the devices on this list that are connected to my R2. If you've connected via Ethernet or via Wi-Fi, you will see your device on this list too. I'm on the marketing computer, so I'm going to select that. It's then going to ask us what game that we're playing. So for the sake of this video, let's select Apex Legends. Um, and then it's going to recommend filtering mode is switched on. Of course, we want filtering mode switched on because we want it to have an effect. If I hit continue there, you can see confirmation that our device has been added. And then if we look on this screen, on the top left, you can see the marketing computer with Apex Legend filtering mode switched on. So confirmation that our device has been added. You can see we selected Apex Legends. You might not be playing Apex Legends or you might be playing a different game that might not even be on that list and you're wondering what to do. Don't worry, we're gonna be going through that in the FAQ section of this video, so don't panic. But next step is to start blocking those distant servers. To do this, we're gonna select our home location the filter should already detect that because during the initial Duma OS setup, we were asked to select our region. If it hasn't, don't worry. Click this button here and then select your home location on the map. And you can basically move it and switch it around. Maybe you've moved house, move areas, whatever. You can change your home location at any time by clicking on that button there. And what we're going to do, or what we're going to see, sorry, is the filter around our home location. And we can then use this distance slider to make the filter larger or smaller. We want to be covering the server banks that we want to play on. We generally recommend starting with a range between 1,000 to 2,000 miles, just to begin with as like a start. But obviously once you're playing and you get a feel for the game and the servers, you can tweak this to your needs. Again, just by coming back to this slider, very easy. Just make it larger, make it smaller, increasing, decreasing the distance. So the next prompt is ping assist. Now leave that for now. We're gonna leave it at zero. I'm gonna be talking about that in the more advanced section of this video. So skip ahead past this prompt and it's gonna take you to something called polygon mode. Now, polygon mode gives you even more control over setting up this filter. It's got a number of advantages. The first one being that you can set filters in multiple locations. Another one being that you can draw around specific servers because it allows you to draw custom filters. Now, let me show you what I mean. You can see me just switching to drawing mode, drawing different shapes. It doesn't need to be the standard circle. So if I know maybe there's a lot of servers in one area, by setting the circle around it, I'm gonna be, you know, there's a chance I can connect to, to multiple different servers. But if I know there's one that gives me a lovely crisp and smooth connection and I wanna play just on that one, I can very specifically just draw around that one server. A really, really cool feature. Another advantage is maybe you're playing with friends from another part of the world. You might be struggling to find a game with matchmaking. What you wanna be doing there is drawing around their location too, as well as your own. So you're gonna have no issues when it comes to matchmaking, but yeah. We know now that our filters are set up, whether it's standard, whether it's via polygon mode. And what we do, if we load up a game of Apex Legends here, we can see all of the servers outside of our filter radius, whether it's polygon mode or the standard filter, they're being blocked. That's what you can see here, they are being blocked. And then we get confirmation that we have connected to a low ping local server. So we now know that our geo filter is set up to a basic level and we can get back to our gameplay, hopefully with really nice smooth low ping connection. So what we're gonna be doing now is taking a look at some of the more advanced features, starting with something we looked at earlier, which was ping assist. Now we left it at zero earlier. What ping assist does, it's an add on to the geo filter. It's gonna allow us to find low ping servers, even if they're outside of the filter radius that we've set up. So we can see here, we've got a slider. We can set a custom value. We recommend between 30 and 50 milliseconds for the best gaming and experience. So I'm gonna set mine at 40 milliseconds, right? 
So any server that meets that criteria of a ping 40 milliseconds or lower, it's going to allow me to connect to that regardless of its location. So it works in conjunction with our filter. But if there is, you know, let's say our filter set here, I could show you on the screen, but our filter set here, but there is a server over here that has less than 40 milliseconds, it will allow that connection too. So it will allow all connections that have a low ping, essentially, as well as your filter. Now we're going to look at something, it's a bit of a trick, we call it ping filter. Now, using ping assist, we can let it do all of the work. So forget that we've drawn filters on there, forget that we've, you know, we've made our circle, forget that we've drawn around custom servers. Let ping assist do all of the work for us. So we're basically saying we don't care where the server is, just as long as it has a low ping and meets the criteria that we set. So what we're going to do here is first of all, set our home location to the middle of the ocean. That is correct, you heard me right. Set our home location to the middle of the ocean. Make our circle as small as possible. Now we know at this point there are going to be no servers, no game servers. If there are, I'd be really concerned. No game servers in the filter that we've just set there. Therefore, it's going to turn to ping assist and that's going to do all the work. So now we've pretty much opened the world. Any server that meets our criteria, we can connect to. We call it ping filter. So alongside the features we've looked at so far, we also have the ability to manually allow and deny a server, basically whitelist, blacklist. Um, if we're connecting to a server, maybe within our filter radius, and all the indicators were there that it was gonna be a nice, smooth, crisp, low ping connection. But when we actually got in game, it was bad. We're gonna to wanna to block that. We're not gonna to wanna to be connecting to that server again, but we might not want to move our filter. So we can deny just that one game server. The first thing we need to do is have auto ping host disabled. You need to turn that off. Then what you need to do is click on the icon that you wish to deny, to block. It's usually the largest icon on the GeoFilter map. That's usually the host. So we can click on that. In the ping panel down below, name the connection. So we can call it bad lobby, bad connection, laggy, whatever you want to call it, and then click on deny. That connection will then be blocked. So even if it stays within our, our filter radius, GeoFilter will stop us from connecting to that server again. It will remain blacklisted until we essentially allow it again. So how do we then allow, manually allow a server or a friend to connect to us? First of all, what we wanna do is basically get them in the party, get them in the game party or our game lobby. That's gonna ping up their location on the GeoFilter map. Click on the icon and it will load a ping graph for this connection, talking more about ping graphs in a minute. In the ping panel below, the GeoFilter, same way. You wanna name it, you can call it my friend Liam, my friend Andrew, whatever you wanna call it and then click allow, and then voila, it will be added to your whitelist. Um, really, really helpful if maybe you're you're struggling, like I said, maybe your, your friend is outside of your filter radius, but you still wanna connect and have no issues matchmaking, that's gonna allow you to do that. Then all you need to do is set your filter back to filtering mode in the device panel, and you will now always be able to connect to this connection because you've added it to your whitelist, even if it's outside your filter range, pretty cool. Next up, we have auto ping host. So this is gonna give you information about the host, the game server that you've connected to. It's first of all, you come down to the panel here. It's gonna show you first of all, the, the, the ping. Obviously very important to know what the ping is. That's the whole point. We're trying to get low ping server. This is gonna give you a live ping graph. So you can see it changing there. You're gonna get information about whether it's a peer to peer server or whether it's a dedicated host game server that you've connected to. You're also gonna see something called the server tick rate. Now. The higher the tick rate, the better. That's how many times per second the game server refreshes the information. And that helps to track things such as player actions and movements. Low server tick rate can lead to some frustrating things. You know, like times when you're running for cover and you think you're behind the cover, but actually you end up getting shot when you're behind the door and you shouldn't be shot, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, higher tick rate, the better. But you can get all that information here with the auto ping host switched on and coming down to this panel. Now, another cool feature of Doom OS that I want to speak about is ping heat map. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, all right, we've got Apex Legends in filtering mode, but how do I know where to best set my filter? How do I know where the game servers are? Well, ping heat map is going to show you exactly that. If we select Apex Legends from that drop down menu here, you're going to see all of the game servers populate in their location. We've got like a traffic light system. So green is indicating nice, low ping, good connection. Um, and you've got amber and red. And if you click on uh, one of the servers, it's going to give you kind of a ping indicator. Now, it's no surprise, obviously, we're in the UK that those local servers, the ones nearest to us, are going to give us the lowest ping. That's normal. You know, distance between you and the game server is one of the biggest 
factors that determines the ping. Obviously, the data has just got less distance travels, like everything in life, right? The shorter the journey, the quicker it's, it should be done. So we want to be connecting to these low ping servers. We can see here we've got a cluster of servers here near us that are going to give us low ping. So it shows us exactly where we want to set our filter. I'm going to set it there around those servers. Pretty cool. So in terms of advanced setup, that's pretty much it, guys. A few tips and tricks there on things that you can do to further optimize and get the most out of your geofilter. What I'm doing now is I've sought the help of Liam, who is a member of our product and technical support team here. I'm going to be asking him some of the most commonly asked questions that we receive from our existing customers and from people that are interested in Duma OS and the geofilter and such. So I'll be asking the questions he's going to be answering. If you've been on our forum, and you're a regular user, there's probably a good chance you've interacted with Liam already, but let's jump into the FAQ. What do I do if my game isn't listed? Okay, so first of all, if your game's not listed, just give us a shout, reach out to us via Twitter, comment on the video, uh, or come over to the forums and let us know. We'd be happy to, to add it to Gmo S for you. Um, that being said, you might find that you're still actually able to filter by that game. So with console, with your device, when you add your device to GeoFilter, just select the choose manually option and you might still find that it filters okay. Uh, if you're on PC, just go over to Device Manager and select your PC and change the device type to PlayStation. Then go back to GeoFilter. You'll need to re-add the device to GeoFilter. The Choose Manually option will now be there. Select that, search for a game, and see if it filters okay. Uh, you'll need to disable filtering mode when you're doing other things because you might find it accidentally blocks um, any other applications you may be using. So. That, yeah, they still do give us a shout, reach out to us, and we can add the game so it classifies properly. Do I need to have Doom OS open for the Geo Filter to work? No. Do you want to elaborate on that? Uh, you don't need, no. So it's, it's an interface for the router. It's not the actual router as an application. So if you close an application, it suddenly stops working. It's not the case with the router. Everything is happening on the router. So any changes you're making, you're pushing them to the router, they're existing there, you can close your interface, game away. I've set up my GeoFilter, but now I can't find a game. Okay, so this could be for a number of reasons, actually. Um, the first and most obvious is that there might just not be any servers within your uh, within your filter radius that you set. Um, and if, similarly, if there's only one server and that server happens to be busy or just temporarily down, you might also find you have really long load times or you just can't find a game at all. Um, Similarly, if you're trying to connect to a server that's really far away from you, uh, you might also find that you get really long search times or no games at all because of how matchmaking works. And if you try to connect to a server and it recognizes that you've got really high ping, it will assume there's a closer one to you that you can use. So it won't always put you on that match. My ping assist is set to 40, but I keep getting in lobbies over 40 ping. Okay, so if there's a server within your radius that's over 40 ping, it's not going to get denied because it's within your search radius. And because it's in that radius, ping assist isn't going to be considered. Uh, similarly, if you've got a server outside of your radius that's above 40 ping, for example, but you've manually allowed it previously, ping assist then won't be considered and won't deny, or the server won't be denied. So you, you could still be put on that server. Why is my ping so much higher than the ping shown in my geo filter? Okay, so the, the ping in game is always going to be a little bit higher than what you see in geo filter. Um, this is just because from your router to the game server, it's a, it's a shorter distance, a shorter amount of hops than from your game client to your router to your game server to whatever resources it's trying to get. So you'd expect to see a, a couple of milliseconds difference there. If it's drastically different, it might mean that the server's under load and you might just want to quickly deny that in GeoFilter and force a different server to see if it's any better for you. Why do I keep getting connected to servers outside of my radius? Uh, so one reason might be that you've got ping assist enabled. Um, this means that servers outside your radius below a certain ping threshold, which which you'll set, um, will then will, will, won't be denied essentially. Um, so look for that. It's in the bottom right corner of the geofilter map. Um, also, if a server is manually whitelisted by us, or if you've manually allowed it in geofilter, it then won't be denied. So it could be an authentication server which we would have manually whitelisted that you need, but it won't affect your in-game experience. Or it could be one that maybe mistakenly you've you've allowed outside your radius and that's now, you know, you're now connecting to that server instead. So you'll just have to check your allow and deny list and uh, maybe remove it or manually deny it again. I've denied a server, but I still keep getting connected to it. Okay, so one reason for this might be that you're trying to deny an authentication server. Like I said, these are ones that are manually whitelisted by us because you need them for authentication. 
so you won't be able to deny those. Don't worry though, they're not going to affect your in-game experience. Your actual gameplay will be on a different, closer server that is considered by your Geofilter. Um, another reason you might find this uh, is because the server you're connecting to is actually in a cluster of servers. So if you play any of the Call of Duty games, you might notice in Kansas there's a, there's a cluster of servers. If you connect to one of these servers, manually deny it, and then when you search again, you might it might look like you're getting connected to, to the same server again because it's in that cluster. It is a different server, it's just in the same location according to Geofilter. So if you've got any further questions other than what I've answered today or you'd like me to elaborate further, as I said, give us a tweet, maybe um, comment on this video or come over and have a chat with us on the forums. We'd be happy to answer any further questions you might have. I've got a question. Go on. What is your favourite video game of all time? Oh, Skate 3, without a doubt. Skate 3? Yeah. So if you followed all the steps in this video, your Geo filter should now be set up and optimized so you can get back to your gaming with smooth, crisp connections. And as Liam said, if you've got any further questions for us, be sure to reach out on Twitter, comment on this video, or on our forum, all the links to which are down below. But if the video helped you out, be sure to drop it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one.